That was close! Flight school. My name is Jackson, with a J, <laughs> and I'll be your instructor. First things first, let's see if we can get you into the air without killing yourself or someone else. We're gonna start with a basic takeoff. Hold the throttle all the way down to pick up speed, and pull back on the stick to take off. your landing gear once you're a safe distance above the ground. Congratulations, pilot! You are now airborne. Now, navigate through those checkpoints marked on your radar, and we can move on to the next lesson. That was a good start! Well done! with a basic takeoff. Hold the throttle all the way down to pick up speed and pull back on the stick to take off. You can retract your landing gear once you're a safe distance above the ground. Congratulations, pilot! You are now airborne. Now, navigate through those checkpoints marked on your radar and we can move on to the next lesson. That was a good start! Well done! Now I'm gonna have you attempt a safe landing on the runway. You won't have many chances to get this wrong, so please, follow my instructions very closely. Start reducing the plane's altitude gradually 
so you're just above the runway as you approach. Be sure to deploy the landing gear before you reach the runway. Start to decelerate while you're still in the air, but be careful not to stall the engines. When you touch down, continue to apply the brakes carefully until you come to a complete stop. Try to land as close as you can to the checkpoint marked on the runway. Execute it like a pro! Now let's get the plane off the runway. Taxi over to the marked area and come to a complete stop. Okay, 
roll the plane upside down. Hold the plane upside down for several seconds. and level out 
the plane again. Now let's see how you do upside down. On my word, roll over the plane and hold it steady. Hold the plane upside down for several seconds. those 
in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay, perform three barrel rolls in a row. Very nice! Are you getting dizzy in there yet? Go ahead and level out the plane again. Now let's see how you do upside down. On my word, roll over the plane and hold it steady. Okay, roll the plane upside down. Hold the plane upside down for several seconds. Pilot, 
It's time for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Good. Okay, let's see what you got. On my mark, perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick...
It's time for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Good. Okay. Let's see what you got. On my mark, perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay. Perform a barrel roll. Stones of steel! <laughs> I like it. Now let's try a few of those in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay, perform three barrel rolls in a row. Very nice! Are you getting dizzy in there yet? Go ahead and level out the plane again. Now let's see how you do upside down. On my word, roll over the plane and hold it steady. Okay, roll the plane upside down. Hold the plane upside down for several seconds. Such a great run. Maybe you're not ready for this yet. All right, pilot. It's time for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Okay, let's see what you got. On my mark, perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay, perform a barrel roll. Stones of steel! <laughs> I like it! Alright, pilot. It's time for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Good. Okay. Let's see what you got. On my mark, perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay. Perform a barrel roll. Stones of steel! <laughs> I like it. Now let's try a few of those in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay, perform three barrel rolls in a row. Very nice! It's time 
for us to get a little crazy. First, I want you to get some altitude and head for that checkpoint marked at the end of the runway. Good. Okay, let's see what you got. On my mark, perform a barrel roll by pulling your flight stick to the left or right. Okay, perform a barrel roll. Stones of steel! <laughs> I like it! Now let's try a few of those in a row. Level out your plane and get ready. I want to see you do three barrel rolls in a row on my signal. Watch your altitude on this one. Okay, perform three barrel rolls in a row. Very nice! Are you getting dizzy in there yet? Go ahead and level out the plane again. Now let's see how you do upside down. On my word, roll over the plane and hold it steady. Okay, roll the plane upside down. Hold the plane upside down for several seconds. Roll the plane right side up. Great work out there today. I'll teach you some more moves next time. This lesson will help you build your stick and rudder skills. You have to keep your plane steady while rolled over on either side. Perfecting this trick will really come in handy in the later lessons. and head for the checkpoint marked at the runway. Then, I'll talk you through it. A knife is one of the harder moves. You'll have to keep your wings steady and use your rudders to maintain altitude. When I give you the signal, I want you to try to hold a knife edge with your plane. Okay, perform a knife edge. Perfect, now hold that position. Don't forget to use your rudders to maintain altitude.
Let's see if you can do the same thing on the other side. On my mark, roll your plane over to the opposite side and hold the position. Okay, perform a knife edge on the other side. Well, you're definitely making some progress. Well done. 